Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve an example related to the transformation of plane stresses. This example will be solved by analytical method which means by using the equations. So this is the example that we want to solve where the current state of element with the plane stresses is given to us with respect to x, y axis that can be seen in this figure. And we are being asked to calculate three things. In first part, we have to calculate the state of the stresses with respect to x dash y dash axis, which is a plane tilted by an angle of 20 degree counterclockwise. The second thing that is being asked is the principal stresses and principal planes. The last thing that we need to determine is the maximum in plane shear stress. So let's start with the first part of this example where we are being asked to calculate the state of stresses with respect to x dash y dash axis. So if you remember from the previous videos, we have derived the equations to calculate plane stresses on a plane which is being rotated counterclockwise. So this is the first equation where we can calculate the normal stress in x direction, normal stress in y dash direction and shear stress on x dash y dash plane. So what we are being given here, we are being given with the normal stress on x direction. So this will be sigma x then and this will be sigma y this one and this will be tau x y and this will be theta. So now putting all those values which is being given to us like sigma x is 250, sigma y is 100 the is 20 so that will become 40 here tau xy is 100 sine 40 so on doing calculations we are going to get sigma x dash as 296.73 mpa similarly on doing the calculations using the same sigma x sigma y tau xy and theta we are going to get sigma y dash as 53.27 mpa and the last one, the shear stays at x dash and y dash. When we do the calculations, it will be 28.395 MPa. Now we can represent this state of stress on an element which is being rotated counterclockwise. So this angle is actually 20. At this plane, sigma x dash is 296.73 MPa. Sigma y dash is 53.27 MPa and tau x dash y dash is 28.395 MPa. Now the next thing that is being asked to us is to go for the principal stresses. Now if you recall we have the formulas for the principal stresses again from the previous videos. So this is the formula for the maximum principal stress and this is the formula for the minimum principal stress or you can say major principal stress and minor principal stress. So again by just putting the values of sigma x, sigma y and tau x, y which are these values. So you are going to get sigma 1 the major principal stress, sigma 2 the minor principal stress as 300 MPa and 50 MPa. So this is the major and minor principal stress. How about the principal plane? Where would be the direction of that? So direction of our principal planes, the major and minor principal planes can be calculated by the formula that we have uh, derived from that right angle triangle that was 10 to theta is equal to tau x y divided by sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2. You can simplify this as 2 tau x y divided by sigma x minus sigma y. So if you don't know this equation, then you can refer to that video where we have learned about this right angle triangle where the perpendicular is tau x y and base is half of difference of sigma x and sigma y. So again just putting the values of tau x y, sigma x and sigma y, we are going to get the value of theta as 26.56 degrees. So if you rotate this element by a magnitude of 26.56 counterclockwise, then you are going to get the principal stresses, the major and minor principal stress. Keep in mind that these are the planes where the shear stress is zero. So we can represent those principal planes on the element as. So we have got 
the direction of the principal stress that is 26.56 degrees this sigma 1 is 300 MPa and this sigma 2 is 50 MPa it means this is the angle of major principal stress if you add 90 more it means 26.56 plus 90 you're going to get 116.56 so that will be the angle of minor principal stress. So this is how we can represent the principal stresses on element. And also here you can see that the shear stress is zero, no shear stress. Now the next thing that is being asked to us is to determine the maximum in plane shear stress. And again, if you recall from the previous videos, we have tried this equation of maximum shear stress. So again, just by putting the value of sigma x, sigma y and tau xy, we are going to get the maximum shear stress as 125 MPa. And again, if you are interested to know the plane where we are going to have the maximum shear stress, it means the direction of the plane where we are going to have the maximum shear stress then the formula can be again in the form of 10 theta and again this 10 theta is being taken from the right angle triangle that we have obtained for maximum in plane shear stress you can refer to the previous videos so this was the equation sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 in dvn sigma xy you can also write this way as well sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 tau xy so again by simply putting the values of sigma x sigma y and tau xy we are going to get theta as minus 18 degree 0.43 so here the negative sign shows that uh, we need to rotate this element clockwise by an angle of 18.43 degrees now again if you want to represent the plane where we are having the maximum shear stress on the element then you can represent like this where you can see that this element is now making an angle of 18 degree clockwise so this angle is 18.43 degrees here we are having the maximum shear stress its value is 125 mpa and if you are interested to determine the normal stress at a plane where we are having the maximum shear again you can recall in the video of uh, maximum in plane shear stress where we have derived the formula for the normal stress so this was the formula so simply then you just add these sigma x and sigma y together and then dividing by two then you are going to have the normal stress and uh, you can see that the normal stress in x direction will be equal to the normal stress in y direction so if you calculate this will be 250 plus 100 divided by 2 so this will be 175 mpa so it means the normal stress in x direction at a plane of uh, maximum shear will be 175 mpa and normal stress in y direction will also be same 175 mp so this is how the example of transformation of plane stresses can be solved where we can determine the normal and shear stress on a plane which is rotated counterclockwise or clockwise the major and minor principal stresses maximum shear stress and the normal stresses at the maximum shear stresses the direction of major and minor principal stress the direction of a plane where we are having the maximum shear stress so all that can be done using the method that is being described in this video so i believe that you have got the concept how to tackle these kind of uh, problems so this is all from this video thank you for watching this video